So we just got back from vacation yesterday. While on vacation, Isaiah discovered that he could climb out of his playpen. Um, so that made things tricky getting him to bed or to stay in bed rather during the trip, but we didn't want to totally panic yet because we knew that his crib at home was higher. The walls were higher. So we figured he couldn't probably get out of that yet. Well, this morning he did. Uh, he climbed out of his crib and uh, so that was a little bit scary. We weren't quite ready for that stage of the journey because that means we're going to have to make this bed. Uh, the crib wall comes off so we're gonna have to figure out how to make it a toddler bed. Yeah, the wall comes off. This wall. This front gate. Yeah. 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 Yeah, those bars come off. And we're going to have to more completely childproof the room so that when he gets out of bed, now that he can, whether the gate's there or not, um, he doesn't hurt himself. So he just turned two a couple weeks ago and we are not really prepared for this, but uh, we'll see how far we get in making it happen for this evening. So that's where we're at. We'll see. Hopefully he likes it. Yeah. You think you're going to like it? Yeah? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So in addition to needing to figure out a bed situation for Isaiah, we also currently have a very high pup style table in our kitchen. With and a broken chair. With a broken chair. We are thinking that eventually he will be joining us at the table because that's what you do as you get older. And um, we didn't want him to fall off a very high broken chair. <laughs> so we're currently going, picking up a new, a new to us, a used table. And I might refinish it and repaint it. It's a rainy day, felt like a good opportunity to drive to Gatineau and get this table. Uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Caden is so excited to show Bubba. You can open it, Caden. So everything's the same, except that the side of the crib is down. <gasps> Do you like it? <laughs> That's where you're going to sleep tonight. Can you get down whenever you want? What's that? Yeah, so he'll be able to get down whenever he wants. Isn't that scary? <laughs> I mean, exciting? Why would you want him to do that? Well, he can climb out anyways. Yeah, I think you guys are both pretty excited. Maybe not going to sleep in the crib. It's his first night. We're doing bedtime, and Isaiah's gonna go in his new bed pretty soon. Oh, you gonna show them? Yeah, we have a little bed rail. He put all his blankets and stuffies in there, so we will have to get that sorted out a little bit. Oh, Dad, look. Dad, is that your new bed? Yeah. And a little railing? Yeah. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, are you going to have a good sleep in there? <laughs> yeah, that stays on, that railing. That stays on to keep you safe so you won't fall, Bubba. Fall? Yeah, we don't want you to fall. Is that a good idea? No. Yeah. Me. You. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Do I say night-night? Okay, night one of Isaiah sleeping in his little toddler toddler bed, crib turned toddler bed. Uh, how would how would you say that was, babe? That was exhilarating. Oh, in all the wrong ways. <laughs> that was not the word I expected you to say. But uh, eventually, <laughs> success after picking him up and putting him down five or six times. For after, you. For me. Yeah. Which for you. <laughs> after you put him to bed. Like 10 or 12 uh, times. <laughs> first time I went to the door, he got out of bed crying and went to the door crying. So I went in, put him to bed again. And I left the second time out the door. He went to the door again crying, but I waited and 
probably within 30, 40 seconds, something where we're in there, he still crying, went, I could hear him go back to the bed, crawl in bed, and kind of whimper off to sleep. So sad. So he put himself to bed. But I'm so proud of him. Yeah. Such a cutie boy. Hopefully we, hope, we find him in bed in the morning. I know. I have no idea what we're going to walk into. Well, I was in there. He tried to fall asleep twice under the crib and then in the closet multiple times. And so anyways, it just took daddy to get it done. So we'll let you know in the morning where he is, where we find him. <laughs> so this is our old table. As you see here, there's like this old chair that's broken. So we are gonna take it down and put our new one up. Hopefully less of a hazard for our two-year-old. So I'm not gonna lie, it's the next morning. I'm a little scared. Isaiah's been awake in his room a little bit. And I'm gonna see what he's been up to. Hi, puppy! You got your bed rail down. And you, oh no! And, oh, that fell down? Yeah, oh wow. And what else have you been doing? Show mama. You've been playing with that, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you found a snowball, one of our snowballs. Snowball. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> and stuffies, you've been playing with stuffies? Oh, wow, you're throwing them. And, okay, looks like you read some books. Oh, all these books were on the bookshelf, so he's been reading books. Woof, woof. You playing with the dog? Yippee! We're just playing with some Play-Doh here. Ball. Did you squash the ball we made? Yeah. yeah? Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. And ice cream, Micah. What kind of ice cream are we doing? Blueberry or chocolate sprinkles. I am so excited, my little turkey. So excited. <gasps> oh, Kaden, this looks amazing. Thank you, buddy. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to Little. It's, yeah, it's little ice cream. Hi friends, we just put our Lego away, put our Play-Doh away, put our games away, and we are actually headed to bring one of our friends a card and a muffin. We're eating a snack while we do that. Hey Kaden, did you bring some toys too? Yeah, yeah. Lego. Oh, Lego, yeah, Kaden loves Lego. So we're, we're off on a little morning adventure. We're out playing in the backyard. What's on our tree, buddy? Crab apples? Whoa. You getting some fresh crab apples? Awesome. I sure can, and I'm nice and tall, so that will be good. Awesome, buddy. Bubba, did you find some? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, let me see. Oh, you gotta put them up there, okay. <laughs> He's a man on a mission, this guy. I say I wasn't sitting in the sandbox earlier. Awesome! We should make some crab apple jam. Would that be cool? I've never ever made jam before, but I bet we could Google it and figure it out. So, just in this moment, right here, right now, we've decided that we're gonna make crab apple jam. So. If you know a good recipe, put it down in the comments and maybe we'll try yeah, it out. I... So my husband came home and I'm like, hey babe, the kids and I decided we're gonna make crab apple jam and... They're peaches. <laughs> and he's like, you mean with the peaches from the peach tree? <laughs> yeah. So I feel like this is just a good picture into our relationship, right? Here. Yeah, it'd be a little tricky to make crab apple jam out of peaches. So I guess leave us a comment for peach jam because we're going to make peach jam 
and we're gonna have to leave these on the tree a little longer. Yeah, they need to be a little bit bigger and riper. Whoa, you're really tall. Yeah. I gotta get you in there, babe. We are eating our first family dinner at our new short table. What do you think, Katie? I like it. Oh, you got a meatball in your mouth. You like it. Baba, do you like to sit at the table with us? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah you're nice oh. and safe. That's right, mm. it's pretty cool. We like it, we like having you here, Baba. You're such yeah. a big boy. We're gonna enjoy a nice family dinner and we'll check in with you later. So this is my wonderful mother-in-law, Joy, who has been uh, helping us out at home. And uh, if you recall, I confidently asserted earlier that the fruit in our backyard was peaches. Um, and upon further review and some additional wisdom from Joy here. They are plums. <laughs> so I was out in the back gardens with my two grandsons and there's these plums on the sidewalk. So I'm picking them up saying, oh, look at all the plums. And Caden, the oldest grandson says, no, grandma, they're peaches. I'm Caden, I'm pretty sure they're plums. <laughs> and he says, no, nope, dad says they're peaches. <laughs> So this just gives you some further insight into our relationship where if Anna is wrong and I'm wrong, I will at least uh, be arrogant enough to uh, assert my confidence that these are peaches, but they're not. They're plums. They're plums. In my defense, though, when we were looking at them earlier, they were more yellowy on the sides, which I mistook for peaches and they're, they have the yellow flesh, which I think of plums having like a reddish flesh, but these have more yellowish ones, but they come in different varieties. So they're plums. A win for the mother-in-law. <laughs> yes. I stand corrected and humbled. So if you have any <laughs> recipes, if you have any plum jam recipes or any advice on how to educate us on plants at all or fruits, <laughs> Leave us a comment below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>